This is Karen Ranzi of superhealthychildren.com and superhealthyraw.com. Hope you like my new owl picture. I'm just loving those big eyes. Anyway, I wanted to address a question which I get from some of my clients in my raw food coaching program because they want to do a cleanse. They have seen videos and heard people talking about all these detoxification cleanses. Yet, when they come into the raw food coaching group, they are nowhere near eating healthy, raw, living plant foods. So, my recommendation is just going to raw food is going to be a really fantastic cleanse because as you're eating more of this fiber-rich, nutrient-dense food, instead of eating processed food and difficult-to-digest animal food, then you will start to eliminate the debris that is stuck in your cells. So it's automatically a detox. And so I really don't recommend further cleansing until somebody has really been doing raw foods for quite a while. You know, maybe even a couple of years. Unless you are in some kind of an illness state and then you may need to do more of a cleanse. Um, I even recommend people to do some fasting um, and I recommend people to a fasting retreat center in Santa Rosa, California called True North Health Center because they have medical doctors who are good supervisors of water fasting. So that's a really good fast. But you could also fast at home once you've been um, into a raw food lifestyle for a while. You could also fast at home even doing things like green juicing and green smoothies for a week. That's a great cleanse or detoxification. You can do, um, you can just take the fat out of your diet, the overt fats, such as nuts, seeds, and avocado, which take more digestive time. So once you take those out, you're doing more of a detox. But again, that's only after you've been raw for a while, because just going to raw you can have some detoxification symptoms. When I first went raw, 100% um, raw, which I did overnight, and I don't necessarily recommend that, but I did it and I had some detox symptoms. My tongue was very swollen. I had canker sores because years and years of eating canned food and processed food and lots of dairy I had a lot of toxins that really needed to come out. And so that's what happened after I went to raw food. Um, so yes, you can do a further detox, but wait until you have really been raw for a while. Um, so I already talked about green smoothies and green juices and some of these um, I will elaborate on further in other videos. But for now, just touching briefly on some of these cleanses that you could do. Um, I've done uh, three or four days just eating apples in the winter when apples are in season. I've done three days, four days on grapes in the summer when I can get seeded organic grapes. Um, and you always want to look for the true mother plant. So with fruit, you want to get the fruit with the seeds. So I prefer to eat watermelon with the seeds, not without the seeds. And watermelon is 95% water. It's a great way to detoxify as well. But again, you don't want to do any further cleansing until you have been doing the raw food for quite some time. And that's why I recommend to people when you are coming to a raw food diet, be patient with yourself and realize that the raw food lifestyle is a cleanse.